we did not rehearse that. Go ahead, babe. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, he loves Ruby Tuesdays. Yes. So, um, I'm excited. I'm excited. That was actually our first um, time going to Ruby Tuesdays when he proposed, and he'll show you some of that later on on how he, we met. He may show you that. Yeah. <laughs> So this is our second Ruby Tuesdays date. We were being greedy and we looked at the menu. So I already know what I want. I want. What you want, babe? You ain't tell me. You gonna tell them? You tell them them first? Babe, I told you. Why? I want spinach and artichoke, heart dip. You know, it tastes good. That. Yes, and then I want the New Orleans. And what is that? What, what, what that is? It's a tilapia dish with. I think some grilled kind of shrimp and some kind of sauce or something and I want some rice on the side and maybe some vegetables or something like that and the bread and yeah, man, I'm, I'll probably get what I always get every restaurant I go to I get the same <laughs> thing from there and so I'm most likely going to have a plate of salad I love Ruby Tuesday salad bar plate of yeah, salad good. and shrimp pasta yeah. I've been on the shrimp pasta now for a long time. Before that, it was it was the burger. I forgot what burger it was, but smokehouse burgers. Eh? Smokehouse burger, I think. See, I remember. I remember. Okay, well, it was the smokehouse burger. That's right. So today is the shrimp pasta. Y'all gonna see it? It's good. It's good. I made it before, but it wasn't as good. I need to do it again. Yeah, so we make sure we spend time together. I want to like go on dates regularly. Tron wants to go on dates regularly. You know, yes, I want to date time. forever. Yes, dating forever. You know, so we're gonna put in time, and I, I know sometimes we get busy with other things. I'm busy with my books and the magazine, and, Children. and the kids. So we just want to make time. You know, busy with the Lord. You know, this morning, family. yeah, and family. Yep. So I, I feel like I'm pulled in five, six, ten different directions. You know, busy with ministry. I got to make some calls to some people that are getting ready to, you know, lose everything. So um, the Lord woke me up at 3 a.m. I gave him, I made sure, because I've been saying, God, I want to give you my, um, you know, my time first. Like, my, you know, the first, first of the fruit. day. First fruit of the day, yep. So God woke me up at 3 a.m. And I prayed and I meditated on scriptures. I read my word, you know. So the day's gonna start off good. Amen. I ain't doing no testing. So me and Babe at Ruby Tuesday. You know we had to hit the salad bar. My salad almost gone. Let me show y'all my salad. I might not be able to eat my food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She ain't eating nothing after that. My food is <laughs> yeah. yeah. all night fine. Where's she gonna put all that? I'm gonna make a room. <laughs> mm -hmm. One thing missing on the salad, y'all, is hot sauce. Look at profits. That's <laughs> good. Picking out. When she ain't prophesying, she's picking out. <laughs> look, look. That's a bit. Look, y'all. I put hot sauce on my salad. <laughs> Just adds a different flavor. Let me get one of these before it ain't no more. <laughs> Like it. Sweet. Thank you very much. Hey. This pepper, man. <laughs> it just adds so much to the salad. Okay. 
I'm gonna be able to get my meal out of here. <laughs> it's good, we have dinner. I was wondering why I won't cook. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that's great. Still got lasagna. <laughs> I must go have lasagna or spaghettios. You gonna have spaghettios? Lasagna or spaghettios? You got lasagna? Oh, you talking about? Oh. Yeah, Mariah's gonna have macaroni and cheese and some chicken tender things. Uh, that's a lot better, girl. Yeah, everything's good. So I'm gonna have my shrimp pasta. Pasta. It's like the Cajun seasoning right here. Yep. Tomatoes and stuff. That's what they've got. Hey, that's, is that tilapia? Yep. That's good on it. Yeah, cool. I'm getting some of that. Babe's still killing this. She's gonna kill that. I don't know where all that's going. I'm still working on this. Look at that. Come on, play. <laughs> hey, ask me for nothing. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. You told me you were getting time. Okay. That ain't the same as asking time. That's good. Me and my wife have everything in my life. Yeah, I'm going to go on the diet after this. I feel like everything's spreading. <laughs> Amen. 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 Just like the prophet, you know, uh, I think Elijah and the angel fed him this food, this manna or whatever, and it lasted for like 40 days. How you know God ain't doing that with me? Well, he must, be always, he must <laughs> always do that with you because he must do that with you every day. <laughs> just playing. 
you've been doing that with you every day since I know you. <laughs> <laughs> you must be going on the year long fast. <laughs> yeah, he sure been doing that with you. Come on, Lord. Give us a good parking space. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. We'll see. Do it, Lord. Lord, don't let us down. We got people watching. <laughs> Watch God move. Y'all just be like going back to the house and going go to sleep. sleep. I do. I just be so tired. That's what you do. Eat and sleep. Yes. Come I think on. I gained about 10 pounds, y'all. I really gonna have to start working out again. Come through, Jesus. Whew. Well, me and Babe gonna start an exercise series soon. You know, I used to always work out. And I'm actually bigger this summer than last summer, you know? Look at that park right there. He taking his time, but I'm gonna get that one. Yeah. They used to love those back in the days, way back. The Lord gave us a spot. Didn't won't God come through? When will he come through every time? When will he come through? All right. All right, I'm getting out the car. This is my routine. I go over and I open the door for my woman to go. This is how it's going to always be. This is not one of them things you do in the beginning. Man. This is me. I don't want her touching no doors. Look, I've got my mother and my sister trained. If me and my mother go out to eat or something, if she get to a door before I get there, she just stand there. Because I trained her like that. And I ain't trying to be funny by saying I trained her like that. I, I told my mother and my sister. My sister don't listen though. Sometimes she'll still touch a door. And I told my mother a long time ago, when we go out, don't touch no doors. Sex as the mingling of souls. The first time I heard Tommy Nelson of Denton Bible Church teach the Song of Solomon, I was amazed. I think I knew the book was a love story, but I had no idea it was that, that intense a love story. I listened as he described a couple making love two times. I listened as he told of their desire to make love all night long. I listened as he described sex and marriage in the most beautiful way I had ever heard. It was amazing, but then it hit me. I could not believe it. He was teaching from the Bible. You know what that did for me? It took sex from a cultural view to God's view. It took it from the back seat of a car to the passion of the marriage bed. Mm -hmm. Sex was a gift from God. And he gave us in marriage a way to be enjoyed to our spouse physically, emotionally, and spiritually. The Hebrew word is dod. It means a mingling of souls. It is a sex, it is sex at its deepest level, and it can only happen in a Christian marriage. Does it happen in every Christian marriage? No, but it can. Let me give you a formula. Guys really like formulas. And this is one that works. When you turn the other six secrets into steps and live them out with your spouse in marriage, Dodd happens. Every last one of us brings sexual baggage into our marriages. It is part of the curse of our culture. Yet God can and will heal your sexual hurts. For many of us, they are deep and the healing may take time. But we follow a God who heals and can heal you. He wants to heal you. So in this world, we hear more about sex than ever before. It is always on TV. It is on the covers of most magazines. Mm -hmm. It is all over the internet. And it is the subject of most movies. The sad thing for our world is that none of these tell the story of sex the way God created it to be. And most people buy into the lies and thus miss out on the best sex ever. 
Having a great sex life and marriage is important. Wherever it is in your marriage today, do not settle for less than God's best. Commit to each other to let God renew your minds, heal the past, and help you have a sex life and marriage in your marriage that mirrors the Song of Solomon. Prayer. Pray for God to heal your past sexual hurts. Then together pray for God's blessing on your sex life as you seek to redefine it God's way. You got right. anything to say about that? I, I think it's important because um, a lot of people come into marriage and they still got like soul ties with their past lovers and you know, so just praying like the key point says for God to heal your sexual past hurts, I think that's important. You know, because you don't want to bring the baggage into your new relationship. Right. So I think that's important. Right. And you know, I, I used to hear people say that, um, you know, what if, and I'm talking about saints said this, like, what if they get married and they don't like it? But I think, I've never been married, but I think when you're in love with the person, I think that should make things even better. When you love the person, like, cause I'm not, I'm not going in, I'm not going into nothing thinking like, what if I don't like it? I know I love you, and that's all that matters. Amen. Why you That's sweet. Team Moses. Yeah, no test drive in the car, no checking <laughs> under the hood like oh, old Eckhart say. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I think that's beautiful. Alright, First Corinthians seven one to five. Now concerning the things whereof you wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband. Let the husband render unto the wife due benevol benevolence, and likewise also the wife unto the husband. The wife have not power of her own body, but the husband. And likewise also the husband have not power of his own body, but the wife. Defraud ye not one another, except it be with consent for a time, that you may give yourselves to fasting and prayer, and come together again, that Satan tempt you not for your incontinency. That was in my reading plan this morning. Amen. Yeah, I was reading that. Psalms 118 through, I think, 120. And then that, First Corinthians 7. Yeah, it was pretty good. Here you go, Solomon, Song of Solomon. Things, chapter 2 16 my beloved is mine and I am his he feedeth among the lilies he feedeth among the lilies what does that mean yeah <laughs> I, I think that's I'm not gonna touch that <laughs> Romans 12 and 2 and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. He feedeth the among the lilies. We're doing, a, we're doing a Bible plan. The Bible plan is called Seven Secrets to an Awesome Marriage. Yeah. Yeah. We, we do it almost every day. We try to do it every day, but sometimes. Yeah, sometimes we fall behind, but we do... We do finish it. Yeah, we catch we catch up. We make up for our... Sometimes we might have to do two in one day, three in one day. Yeah, but this is good. Seven secrets to an awesome marriage. Yeah. Check it out on version. Most of y'all are on version. Yeah. Find a good plan. They got plans on everything. Fasting, meditation, money, awesome stuff. You know, the miracles of Jesus. So we're getting ready to pick up the kids. I guess that's what he wanted to do. Anyway, y'all. <laughs> we just got married today. I married my best friend. So we just wanted to share that with your family. We told all our family. Yes. Now we're telling y'all because y'all family. All right, we don't want to bore y'all with that. Anyway, we want to share that with y'all. Jesus. Jesus.